Hi, my name is Vigarasan Lobe. Today I am going to do the experiment of cushion category. In this experiment, I will use this plastic bag, which is which is filled with here. These three objects. First is sharpener, which is approximately two grams. This is ball. First ball that is approximately fifteen grams, and this is third uh, second ball that is approximately of hundred grams. Now, by energy conservation, I will get this formula, but I have written the second formula of due. Uh, this is due to coefficient of restitution, as in real life there will be some coefficient of restitution for this. So uh, here I have derived the formula of coefficient of restitution, but in this case the coefficient of restitution is much less, so it will not affect that much in this case. That's why I am not using this formula to explain. I will use this formula, but if the coefficient of restitution is more, then this formula are going to be used. So, I have explained this coefficient of restitution point. Now, I will explain the mass of first object point. Now, I will take this first 15 grams mass object. Now, this is 100 grams mass object. Now, as uh, u on r can't calculate the exit velocity, so we can check that the exit velocity is more or less by calculating its height or seeing by observing its height. So, if the height is more, then the exit velocity of the second object will be more. But if the height is less, then the exit velocity will be less than the first case or second case when height is more. So, in this case, when I dropped this object, the height was much more than this. So, the exit velocity when I drop this ball was much more. So, if the mass of object that is dropped increases from here, if mass m1 increases, so v2 also increases as this quantities are same. And v2 from this we can say that v2 is directly proportional to the root of m1. Now, second case that is height from which first object is dropped. I will take this one. First, I will drop from this much height. You can see that height was less, so exit velocity was also less. So now I will drop this ball from this much height. The ball didn't collide uh, much properly, so I am doing this experiment one more time. So you can see that the sharpener in the first case was not gained much height, but in the second case it gained much height than the first case, as the height from which the ball dropped was increased. So these two were constant, this was constant. So, from this we can say that V2 is pro directly proportional to root of H1. Now, let us take the third parameter that is initial velocity of first object at the time of drop. So, this is the ball. Let in first case I will not give it any velocity. So, if I didn't give any velocity then this term is 0. In uh, earlier cases also this term was 0. Now, if I give it some velocity, that is, so, as I give it some velocity, this term was added to this term, so, uh, these two were constant, so, uh, the add the term that was added, or the energy that was added, gave the much, uh, so, the V2 was increased as this much energy was added to it. Now, the fourth one, that is, number of objects dropped. Let us check this object first. Now I drop these two objects together. You can see that height gained by the sharpener was much more in second case. This is because M1, when this both ball were the system together, then M1 was 115 grams, but when this ball was dropped alone, then M1 was 15 grams. So uh, this was 0 as I didn't give any initial velocity. So V2 was is directly proportional to root of M1. As M1 increased, V2 also increases. This case I explained through the first case only. Now, sixth case is friction and surface area. In real life, there will be some friction coefficient for this. So, the exit velocity of the second object will decrease as it will experience some of the frictional force. Now, if the surface area of contact is increased, so the force on the second object uh, that is placed here will also increase. So, this will lead to increase in the exit velocity. This can be proved by the Pascal's law that is F2 is equal to F1 into A2 by A1. A2 is the area of contact of object that is placed here 
and F1 is the area of contact of the object that is being dropped. F1 is the force given by the ball that is dropped and F2 is the force that is given on the ball that is catapulated up. Now, the seventh that is time of contact of first object with the air cushion. If the time of contact of first object that with the air cushion increases, so impulse increases. As impulse increases, so exit velocity of the second object also increases. Now, the air resistance, we know that there will be air resistance in the real life. So, this will decrease the uh, velocity of the ball that is dropped. And by this way, the exit velocity will be decreased. But it will also decrease afterwards when this is catapulated. It will uh, resist this uh, uh, catapulated away objects and it will decrease its the, uh, exit velocity. But this is negligible, so I didn't uh, include it in the energy conservation. Now, let us take the ninth case that is mass of second object. First, I will do the experiment and then I will tell, tell the reason. This is 100 grams mass and this is 2 grams sharp. Now, I increase the mass of second object from 2 gram to 15 gram. So, the exit velocity was decreased. As we can see that the height reached by this ball was this much and this to reach the ceiling also. So, this can be proved by uh, initial velocity of this ball that I, I didn't give any velocity. So, this is here. So, now M1 GH1 is equal to 1 half M2 V2 square. M2 was increased but M1, G and H1 were constant. So, from this we can see that V2 is inversely proportional to root of M2. So, hence from this also we can prove that if the mass of the second ball that is placed here is increased then the velocity will decrease and we see this in the experiment. Now, the tenth that is wind speed. In uh, the problems we have seen that the wind speed is uh, given in the x direction. So, in now I will also count wind speed in x direction. If the catapulated object x uh, velocity uh, exit velocity of x component is in the direction of wind speed, then the exit velocity of the object increases as its x component velocity increases. But if the x component velocity is opposite to the wind speed, then this will decrease the x component's velocity of the catapulated away object. Hence the exit, uh, net exit velocity will be decreased. Now, the material and the shape of the first object. Let us do the experiment. This is plastic material, this is uh, rubber tennis like material. So, first I drop this object. Now, I drop this object with the same weight approximately. As the material of object was changed from plastic to the tennis material, then density was increased. Hence, density is equal to mass upon volume, so mass of the ball also increased and the volume is same then also. Uh, if volume is same then and here the volume was same approximately. So, now let us explain uh, the shape of the first object. If the shape of the first object is uh, somewhat like a plate, then the area of contact that is here, surface area of contact is increased, then the force on the second object is decreased, that's why uh, exit velocity is decreased. This is proved by the Pascal's law that is F2 is equal to F1 into A2 by A1. Hence, and this is where area of contact is less than the plate, that's why exit velocity is more. Now, change in gravitational acceleration. If we are doing this experiment near the Earth's surface, gravitational acceleration is 9.8 something meters per second square. But if we are doing it at the mountain top, then uh, we can say that the gravitational acceleration decreases and it decreases as we move away from the earth's surface. So, if the gravitational acceleration is so, yeah, so, so the gravitational acceleration is uh, decreased as we move away from the earth's surface. So, the force, uh, gravitational force also decreases in on the mountain top and if the gravitational force decreases then the velocity that is given by the gravitational acceleration also decreases. That's why the exit velocity of the object decreases as the g decreases. We can prove by this as g decreases and this too and this is constant. So, b2 is proportional to root of g. Then I will explain the elasticity of second object. Let us do this. Uh, 
Select the second object as sharpener. I will take this ball. Uh, is much more elastic. Now, this is too much rigid. Now I will take this that is somewhat elastic. Then this one. We can see that if the uh, elasticity of the object is more, then the object will get gain less height than the object that is rigid. Because if the elasticity is there, then the energy will be lost in the deformation of that object. That's why the exit velocity decreases. And uh, if it is rigid, then there is no deformation in it. That's why exit velocity doesn't change that much. And uh, deformation energy is not lost. That's why exit velocity is more. This was my explanation. Thank you.